doctors for cancer survivors who say a school caused it all. The Florida Department of Health now collecting medical information on those who studied or worked at Bayshore High in Bradenton. ABC Action News reporter Isabel Rosales shows us the effort happening today to get more data. This is a spot where Old Bayshore High stood up until the mid 1990s and just a mile away from here. The Department of Health has made it easier for anyone who believes a school is responsible for their cancer diagnosis to turn in their medical record information. It's the one question that set off years of accusations and now a Florida Department of Health study. What were we exposed to? That's the yeah. biggest thing. A group of alumni raise the alarm after they say more than 300 of them develop cancer. Now the road to an answer. Alongside the Manatee County School Board, FDH wants cancer survivors who studied or worked there to give them their medical records. We're receiving forms from across the country, which we think is great. So far, about 140 people have responded. And in six months, experts will be able to answer if these numbers are far higher than normal, what's called a cancer cluster. But while some alumni are pleased at this progress, some also think they're not doing enough. It's just another step that they're taking to say, hey, we did this, so we're done. But science is science, right? If it finds something either way, mm -hmm. it's what the survivors want. Right, it is what it is. We want answers. Kristen Moore's son, a Bayshore grad, was diagnosed with a rare form of Hodgkin's lymphoma at 20 years old. And I'm terrified for my son. A lot of people that have gotten cancer, it's come back two and three times and it's ended their lives. They're also critical of the study because FDH wants data from graduating classes after 1981. We do understand that people may have been diagnosed with cancer earlier than that, but in order for us to have that scientific study, you know, we can only go back to 1981. And while 81 is the year the Florida Cancer Registry was initiated, the final study might actually only include data from those who graduated after 85. The reason? That's as far as school records go. The window to collect medical information has been extended through the end of March. If you'd like to be a part of the study, we have details on how to do that up on our website. In Bradenton, I'm Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News. Health officials also stressed that contractors have conducted a number of environmental studies and did not find any contaminants in the soil or water around the school. New information tonight on last night's crash at Memorial Hospital.